Hello there and welcome. Uh, my name's Dan. I like talking about Warhammer. Uh, oh, I'm just looking at uh, any comments, but uh, cool. So uh, this video, I wanted to talk to you about my tier listings, but more as in what's the point? So what I've been doing is kind of recording the tier listing scores to try and see whether there is any predictive quality to to um, what I've been saying. So what I've done is I've taken essentially support characters and combat characters and the best three out of these three elements. Uh, in fact, I was going to do a video on swarms, but I need to change all this because then I thought actually all swarms are just good. Like it doesn't really, there's very little difference in between them. There's nothing really to distinguish them. So anyway, what, so this is the total score. If we so if we say that like S tier is four points, A tier is three points, B tier is two points, C tier one points, uh, D tier zero points, then this is essentially what it adds up to. So, um, but in an army list, you're only going to have like two or three different types of unit plus some characters, right? So who's got the best overall? And Beastmen and Chaos Dwarves come out top, and Beastmen and Chaos Dwarves are doing quite well in the meta. So the Vampire Counts, High Elves, Bretonia, uh, Warriors Chaos. Dwarves, interestingly, I seem to rate higher than the meta suggests. Uh, and then down at the bottom is Skaven uh, and, in fact, Lizardman. So I, I thought this was quite interesting. But then I thought, well, actually, could I could I use this to kind of build an army? You know, of, of stuff that, you know, that I think is... Um, now, some of these things I need to revisit and have a look at and whatever. Dwarves are out next week, so this might change. But, you know, I like dwarf artillery. I like organ guns. I like their rangers. And I like uh, iron breakers and iron... Um, I like iron... What do you call it? So, I just thought, let's build a list based on this and just see if everybody agrees that it's any good. So vampires seem to be quite popular uh, in terms of like what uh, what generates content online. <laughs> so um, now I've got a problem already because heavy cavalry and monsters, I can't put both in the same list because the heavy cavalry that got a four was um, blood knights and the monsters were terror geists and both of those are rare choices. So I can't really fit those both into uh, a list. Uh, but there's, yeah, that Vampires is going to be quite difficult because there's a bit, there's a few like selection conflicts. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's pick on Dwarves. Dwarves is a relatively straightforward one. So let's do, let's do a new Dwarf list. Uh... So dwarf and mountain holds. Uh, let's do two thousand points. Okay, so I said dwarfs. The combat character was two. So actually, I just won't bother with that. Support character, I gave a three. So let's have an anvil of dune, and let's do an engineer, and let's do a rune smith. And uh, not sure about making the anvil the general. It's leadership nine. I'm just checking. Okay, engineer can be a general. So probably it's difficult to target, you see. That's the thing. It can get out of the way and it's difficult to target. Um, give him a handgun. Uh, he's got heavy armor and stuff. I don't really think he needs much else. Um, the reason for the runesmith is... Uh, is it that? Yeah. Unit gains armor bane two and flaming attacks. Now, you know that that just that that applies to um, um, uh, shooting weapons as well, obviously. So you give that to us some rangers, and you've got crossbowmen with armor bane four, which is pretty nasty. Um, I like the rangers. I don't really want a massive unit of them though, sadly. So I'm not sure that would be effective. 
Uh, they have scouts already. Uh, I really like upgrading them with everything. I think that's it's. I think that's probably worthwhile, although it, it, it does make them quite expensive. Um, yeah, not that fussed about that. Strelaz is Vanguard move, isn't it? Rune of Courage is Fear of Terror. It's not reserve move. It's just Vanguard, which means you can put them down. And you can't use Vanguard. So, hmm, not sure about that. I that seems a bit expensive. I don't know. I don't know about. I'm told that giving them all the upgrades is worthwhile, but really, it just seems like. But then again, I guess you know strength. Well, they strength three, so strength four throwing weapons, a ballistic skill four, plus dwarf crafted, so they're not minus one to hit, and they can always use them. So even if somebody's charging from quite close, you know, if somebody's charging them from a way away, you get to hit them with crossbows. Um, and if you put the runesmith with them, maybe. Well, maybe not straight. Oh, I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? It's really difficult picking a dwarf list because it's like, well, where do you where do you really want to put your value? Um, but I think that might be a bit too much for those rangers. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think uh, a unit of um, yeah, a unit of long beards would be quite good. Not to warn if general is a. Oh no, you need a king for them to be uh, core, don't you? So get get rid of them because I'm not going to add a king. Uh, am I? Mm, oh dearie me, I don't know about that. I think some dwarf warriors would be all right. Let's just go for twenty of them because uh, we can give them veteran. We can give them drilled. We can give them shield. I don't know about giving them great weapons. Uh, I think giving them banner rune, giving them that. Yeah, I think that would be really good. S hesitation or confusion. One of the two. These are all right. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Dwarf Warriors, I don't really like them. I don't think they're very good. Anyway, let's go for the cool stuff. So we want... Ideally, about 30 of these of these boyos. I uh, don't think you need standard bearer or musician, to be honest. Uh, now, they don't need to be in a detachment. I think... Can I get 30? Just duplicate that. And again? Yeah, I can. Look at that. Duplicate that. 30 of them. Now, that doesn't mean I've missed out on an organ gun. Again, this is the selection dilemma, really, isn't it? Um... Now, if I go... Mm, no, they are really good, though. Uh, if I go down to f three units of five, can I fit an organ gun in there? I can fit an organ gun in there, like that. Okay. And then I've got 61, and then I can get another 70. I think I can get another organ gun in. Uh... Yeah, let's do let's do another organ gun. Oops, idiot. Do another organ gun. Yeah, let's have two of those, and then seventeen points available. Is that one more Iron Drake? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got sixteen Iron Drakes. Uh, crucially, we've got three. Um, oh no! Oh no! I need to pay extra for troll hammer torpedoes. Oh. So he's got that. That's an extra fit. I've only got two points available. Oh no. Oh, it's, it's too tough. Yeah, special. Right, I want two gyrocopters. I I quite like clatter guns because of the move and shoot, so they get to march and shoot. I know the steam guns are a bit more popular. Um. But these have quick shot, move and shoot, and multiple shots. So actually, and the dwarf crafted, so you, you're not minus one to hit when you're stand and shoot. The only minus one you're ever going to be is um, the minus one for multiple shots or perhaps long range. But you're not at, ever at long range when you're standing and shooting. So they're actually pretty good 
um, if you're getting charged. Um, and arguably they're better against char single characters because you get the multiple shots, whereas steam guns you can only hit standalone characters once, and they only do, yeah, it's just a strength 3 AP1 breath weapon. So some people like brimstone guns because, you know, their strength, they're a bit better, but they don't have, if they had move and shoot, um, definitely, but, you know, I, I like the move and shoot, I like the maneuverability, I think that makes them a bit, a bit better. But that's just my opinion. Uh, if you disagree, uh, there is a comment section down below. I hope that one of the things makes Iron Drakes or Organ Guns a bit more available because I want more of this. More of this would be way, way more powerful. Where are we up to points-wise? We've still got 500 points left. Uh, it's just I'm stuck here. Um, I guess two Organ Guns is probably not as good as... Um, a load more iron drakes i mean ideally i'd want about 20 and mainly because if i'm going to actually buy this army uh where are we up to 28 points too many if i'm going to actually buy this army then it will be nice if it's less than 20 because 20 is a box <laughs> it's not is it oh no it's it's 20 exactly right so let's add that up to seven and then we'll take that one down to six. And then we've got kind of even sized units. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'll do. And we've got three troll hammer torpedoes, which is the main thing. I'm not sure whether to give them. Nah. Nah. Do I need to give them drilled? I can only do it with 14 if I want to give them drilled. I don't know whether I need to give them drilled. I don't think I need to, really. Because they're just going to be in three little lines, aren't they? I don't think drilled's going to be that useful for them, maybe. Right, let's go back to the anvil. Give it some runes. Uh, I'm really tempted with that. <laughs> just give it toughness 10. Which would just be, you know, toughness 10. Uh, it's got... Uh, what's Ancestral Shield? Five at Ward. Uh, does the Rune of Shielding... No, it doesn't stack with that. Of course it doesn't. That would be way too powerful. But um, hmm. Master Rune of Gromwell. I mean, that's pretty good. Two up armor, which obviously can't be improved in any way. Rune of Iron's good. Rune of Fortitude, plus one toughness. Oh, what toughness does it start off with? Seven. Yeah, I think Rune of Fortitude is quite good. So that just makes it toughness eight, which makes it really, really tough. Um, yeah, it's a war machine, though, so it's toughness. So that would make it toughness six in combat, wouldn't it? And toughness eight against shooting. Maybe I want another one. Oh, it's a bit much. I don't know. I want to make it a bit better in combat, to be honest. May it's got a five at ward. It's a pity there's no like rune of um, what's that? Rubbish. Rune of luck. Mm, not so good. Rune of warding. I'm tempted by the rune of warding actually, because that would just stop a cannon shell. Um, Rune of Spellbreaking is pretty good. It's basically just a full Dispel Scroll, which is great. Um, that's okay. Balance. Yeah. Once per turn, you get to try and Dispel a bit, you know, a bit better. Master Rune of Calm. Yeah, it's only with a power level of two, so it's not going to be reliable. It's not worth the 50 points. If that was, like, 30 points, it'd probably be worth it. But um, I think toughness six is useful. Yeah, I think toughness six is useful. And then I think maybe, yeah, rune of parrying, so it's minus one to hit in combat. So when somebody gets into combat, they're a bit more, yeah, the minus one to hit. They've, uh, it's got, what has it got? Just hand weapons, but they are Gromwell weapons. So they've got AP1 already. Um, 
you can't give it a great weapon, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, 65. So I've got 35 points. I'm tempted with the Master Rune of Balance, actually. So it just does dispelling a bit better. But actually, I kind of want... No, because the, the Runesmith only counts as a level 2 when it's dispelling stuff. Whereas this counts as a level 3. So this one has a 24-inch... Uh, dispel range and the runesmith only has an 18 inch so I kind of want yeah mm, I'm not sure it's really difficult to pick runes for this because I don't want it to be too expensive I think maybe just leave it there and then spend the points on something else um yeah cool runesmith let's uh let's give him um Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you'd want a runesmith to do that. Let's give him full plate, great weapon. Okay. Okay, so we can use the shield against shooting, just in case he's shot at, right? So, you know, whatever. Um, okay. I... Um I think I actually want another gyrocopter, don't I? Do I? It's really difficult actually building a dwarf list because it's like, what's actually going to do the work? I mean, we know all this is going to do a lot of damage because uh, you know you look at you look at the Drake gun, right? It's got an eighteen-inch range, strength five, AP one, armor bane two. Uh, you know, dwarf crafted, flaming attacks, and quick shot as well. So move and shoot, no problem. Uh, you know, no no modifier to that. Uh, so they've got an 18 inch range iron drakes have got bs4 5 4 to begin with so they're hitting on fours basically at long range and then the strength 5 ap1 which is really good uh, and then you've got the troll hammer torpedo which again is 24 inch range and um, doesn't have quick shot so you kind of need to stand still with it but it is strength 8 it is ap3 and it is multiple wounds d3 so three of those a turn at a giant will probably well it will do some damage right so if all of those the units are pointing at a giant the giant's gonna you know or dragon or whatever it's it's gonna you know it's gonna find it a bit tough right it's gonna take some wounds because it's strength five remember so they're actually only wound, wounding on fives and those those sixes that wound you're basically ap3 which is a bit nuts really um Plus also, if you put the runesmith with them, oh my god, yeah, if you put the runesmith with them, they get forge fire, so they go up to an armor bane 2 on top of that. So 6s to wound, then become AP5, don't they? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you want to load up on those, actually. I think you just want to move the runesmith between all three, dependent on what your main target is. Because um, that just makes one unit slightly better. So that's where a lot of the damage is going to come from. Organ guns are great. Um, it's just... I'm just a bit stuck now. Because I've got some gyrocopters. I fancy some iron breakers, actually. I fancy me some iron breakers. Uh, yeah, 18. 6 times 3. I think that's pretty good. Uh, and let's give them. I've got hesitation there. Let's go confusion. Um, do I want them to see? That means they don't get their initiative bonus. These dwarf warriors. Yeah, that's what I want. Master rune of hesitation. So that basically turns off like lances and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas these, I want to have the other one. Uh, confusion. Nice. Because um, they don't... Yeah, they might get to go... F well, they're not going to go first, are they? Makes a disordered charge. I mean, what, is there anything else that a disordered charge does? Does No, it just doesn't gain the initiative modifier. Yeah, like, that's not... What does that do? That would affect great weapons, really, wouldn't it? So if somebody's charging iron breakers with great weapons, they're going to go last. So iron breakers go before great weapons. 
Mm, I mean, yeah, I guess. The problem is, how do you engineer that? Well, because I, I guess it's probably true that no, because people are just going to charge them with cavalry, aren't they? Because they want to peel them open with uh, with lances. So, hmm, hmm, confused. I'm not sure that's worthwhile on them. Because so this is why. Because what you want is you want the uh, anvil of doom with. Um, where are we? Anvil of Doom. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Anvil of Doom. Or is it Strike the Runes? Yeah, there it is. Strike the Runes. So you want to get them this, and ideally with the best, better one, but still, you know, that's all right. So it's basically re-roll failed armor saves. Now, you can, if you get lucky, re-roll failed armor saves and plus one to your save. So these are on two up re-rolling saves, and therefore, you know, and, and they've got an inbuilt, Oh, and I want to give them. I definitely want to give them drilled. Yeah, I've run out of points. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's really worth it because they're hopefully going to survive anyway. Because uh, they've also got uh, runes of protection as well, so they've got a six up ward against non magical. So you know that's pretty. They're pretty tough anyway. Um, and then I guess you can chuck the runesmith in there. He doesn't have to be in the fighting rank. You can leave him somewhere around the back. Um, yeah. I think these two are a bit too expensive for me. I'm not I'm not massively happy with them. But the rest of it I'm getting somewhere. Because so I've got a decent brick here. We've got a decent-ish brick here. But this is what I mean. Like 20 Dwarf Warriors or 18 Iron Breakers. Like... Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not that much difference in points. I mean, oh, yeah, these have got great weapons, but... Hmm. Just doesn't seem... Uh, doesn't seem very good, really, does it? And then the Iron Drakes are going to do a lot of work. They're just going to shoot stuff, basically. And the Gyrocopters... Um... Do I need three with clatter guns? I don't think I do, do I? I think actually I want two steam uh, guns and one with a clatter gun. I think that's what I want, isn't it? Uh, a steam gun. Oh, keep clicking on the wrong one. Yeah, I think that's what I want, isn't it? Because these can go around and like just steam stuff, basically. And this can fly around a lot faster and clatter stuff. Maybe I want one of each weapon, do I? Because this one's, again, strength five. That would be quite useful against giants and stuff. Because, yeah, it's, it's only got a few shots. But still, like, quick shot means you can move and shoot, right? Which is good. So, you know, you can still... Well, they've got a fly nine. So I can still fly nine, range 18. So it's just going to be multiple shots and long range, minus two. So six is to hit. Yeah, that's not worth it, is it? Whereas the clatter guns, you know, you can move 18. So you've actually got a 30-inch threat range to get within half range, right? And, um, you know, then you've just got the multiple shots to move. So, mm, mm, mm. yeah, <laughs> it's really difficult. Like, because, yeah... Was that? Yeah, ballistic skill three. There's no way to improve that. They do do impact hits, which is quite good. I mean, they're strength four, but still, they're good for, like, taking out wizards, really. Um, that's really their job, taking out, like, lone characters and stuff like that. But I guess if they can't do that, and, and I suppose they're good for taking out artillery, so if they can't do that, then the steam guns are good for... Maybe I don't want the third gyrocopter... Maybe that's it. Maybe that's. Maybe I just need two. Get rid of that. Yeah, I'm still not happy. I want more rare stuff. Basically, I'm not happy with, you know, with the rest of it. Um, 
So I've got a runesmith. So the runesmith goes near the organ gun to stop it misfiring. Is there anything else I should stick around there? Because you're going to have the anvil on the table. Uh, let's just... One thing I like to do... I mean, I, I don't play people on Warhol, but one thing it is really useful for is just sticking your stuff on a table to see what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? To see what your like deployment looks like. Uh, it's not public. Yeah, whatever. Right. So let's have a look at the table. Uh, I don't really know how to use it, this thing really, but uh, create. Uh, battlefield There we go, that looks like a battlefield doesn't it? There we go, some nice deployment things uh, And let's uh, Unit, let's go uh, Dwarfs and It's crashed Let's go back to this then while that loads Um you know, I I think I think do I want I want I want a grudge thrower I think or maybe a cannon. Like I was really down on the grudge thrower because nothing really helps it. But like a cannon will take up all my points. But at least the grudge thrower I can fire like indirectly, and so it's always going to do something. Bloody thing! Um, it's always going to do something. Like, no, nah, it's not, is it? I mean, that's a, that's a dumbass thing to say. Right, let's have a bolt thrower and let's have the rune of skewering because it's pretty obvious that you got to do that. And the rune of skewering... Oh, is my, my internet's probably going down. This is why it's breaking. <sighs> so, yeah, I think that's... that's actually enough of a threat on a flank to make your opponent do some dumb stuff right yeah i know it's not a new device oh for god's sake all right well i can't check it on the thing but for some reason it thinks this is a new device it's not cool so i think i'm getting somewhere close I, I, I don't know i'm, I'm not mm. So we've got the engineer as the general, right? And the reason we've got the engineer as the general is because he's actually quite difficult to target. If he's within three inches of a war machine, he can't be targeted by range. And also there's enough stuff in the way that means that people are probably, as long as you're reasonably smart with him, people are probably not going to overrun into him and cause problems. You've got a runesmith because basically adding that to like a missile troop gives it, um, gives it uh, forge fire, which... I I I'm not I thought that was only in combat to be honest. I'm just going to check the um the army book because I'm not sure about that. That just feels a bit maybe they haven't summarized it very well. Oops. Dwarf Runesmith. Uh Forge Fire Armor Bane. No, it just says that, doesn't it? Yeah, Armor Bane and Flaming. Okay, so they get an armor bane, as we know from the last FAQ stack. So we can stick him in the iron drakes to give them, like, uh, well, to give their drake guns armor bane four, um, which is quite cool. Um, and the troll hammer torpedo becomes armor bane two if it rolls a six to wound. So that's pretty good. AP five. So basically, all the weapons in that iron drake unit become AP five if you roll a six to wound, which is pretty useful. Um, you know, and again, Drake guns are quite nice. Uh, so this is where a lot of the damage is going to come from. You can plonk this unit of rangers down somewhere on the table. Uh, actually, in skirmish formation. Formation. So what skirmish formation means is that as long as you're smart with how you deploy them, if somebody charges them, they're all firing. <laughs> With dwarf crafted stuff, um, which is you know pretty good because the you know they're hitting on threes, champions hitting on twos. If they're charging from more than their movement distance away, you're hitting them with strength four 
uh, actually, ponderous, ponderous. Uh, don't know whether that's the one that means that you can't stand the. Uh, you can stand the shit with crossbows. Yeah, yeah. Ponderous means you just minus two to hit if you move, isn't it? Um, oh, it started to rain, hasn't it? That's it. Always. Uh, yeah, it started to rain. My internet always dies when it starts to rain. Um, it's very annoying. Um, yeah, I think that's an okay list. And I think that 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 takes the best bits from dwarfs at the moment. So anyway, these are just some ideas. Let me know what you think. Um, any comments are always greatly appreciated. Uh, it's just nice to have somebody to talk to uh, about the madness that's going on in my head. Um, <laughs> that sounds way too melodramatic. It's not that bad. Um, cool. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's been uh, nice talking to everybody. Uh, I hope everybody's okay. If you've like the video, vi the video, video. Like the like. If you like the B day, there's um there's a dozen for that. And um, if you've uh, got this far, you might want to consider subscribing. It's up to you. It's uh, it's all mostly you know me sort of very, very uh, mostly very gently nattering to the camera, talking about Warhammer. So um you know if you if you're at this point, uh, possibly subscribe. It's up to you. Uh, it's 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 always a bit like this. Um. I'm planning to do a bit more interesting content over, um, well, I don't know, I don't know, interesting is probably, probably a very strong word, yeah, I'm planning to do some more stuff over the next few weeks, although it'll be a bit slower over the next few weeks, uh, I'm going to try and do more live stuff where I do some painting and we watch battle reports, I know I keep talking about doing this, but, um, uh, I think hopefully one day this week I'll finally get around to it. And um, I'll uh, I'll see you again soon. So I'm just going to sign off and say toodaloo and uh, hope everybody has a good time. <laughs>